here we go, opening day. I've been having good fishing, but terrible luck in terms of keepers for the past two months. I caught 13 coho from the beach in a known hatchery fishery and zero of them were hatchery marked keepers. Sorry, 14 coho, 11 of which were all from one day. And then in this river, I have caught some of the biggest and most hatchery fish I've ever caught. This is it. Here we go. So since the last time I got two fish and two casts on a huge nightmare pattern half ounce jig, that is exactly what I'm gonna throw on first today. I just lost a big silver coho on the nightmare jig. No, that is not what you want in the first fish of the day. Go on. This one. Not giant, he's good. Oh, he's pretty good. Pretty good. He's silver. Is this our hatchery? Okay, right now. Got him. He's not bad at all. Wild. Is it? Yep. Are you sure? It's not just curly clip? Wild. <laughs> not a keeper, oh, but that one. right there is a beautiful chrome coho that we are gonna get on his way. One fish landed, one fish lost. Knowing my luck, the one that I lost was probably a hatchery. But I will not complain about landing a nice chrome coho. By the way, I forgot to mention this, but the jig head I have this nightmare tied up onto is one of my favorite Jig Geek jig blank colors. Check out that right there. That is their ruby red in half ounce. There's bottom. Twitch, 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 twitch. Come on, where's the boom? Twitch, twitch, boom, isn't that the way it's supposed to be? Go on, here, just a little guy. Just a small one, no, oh, very small. Very, very, very small. Very little. But if it's hatchery, I can keep it, so I may as well net it. Ooh, that's going great. Let's just plop a little dude right in the net like that. It is hatchery. Why not? I'll keep it. There's a limit of two hatchery fish per day and no yearly limit on coho. So unless I am lucky enough to hook two big old hatcheries today after this, which I doubt I will be, I am totally fine keeping one of my two daily limit fish as a small one because even though he's small, he'll be a very good eater. All right, little buddy is bled and clean. I'm actually totally happy with this. Fisheries want these jacks out of the river anyway, and uh, that is some good meat. Obviously not a whole lot of meat on buddy, but the meat that is there is very, very, very tasty. Gosh. That is a wild little jack. You can keep wild jacks. I don't know if he's below 35 centimeters. Okay. This one is wild, but there's a special provision for jacks up to 35 centimeters that you can keep wild or hatchery. And this one we measured very carefully is, <laughs> don't laugh while I say that. That like, no, I have to, no, I know, but that's, but yeah. when you laugh, it sounds like the opposite. Okay, no. You're literally laughing because of how much we were painstakingly yes. measuring it, exactly. but that's not what people are gonna think in the video. Anyway, that is a totally legal fish. And uh, that's our that's our second keeper. Our second keeper with a grand total of about two pounds of meat. Hello. Hey, how's it going? Not bad. Hey there. All right, all right. Having any luck down this way? I'm chum hunting myself. Oh. First day they're open for retention. So yeah, yeah, he got a silver a one for the two days ago. Nice. Yeah. Do you guys mind if we uh, no, elbow in? It. Yeah, because this looks nice and deep. Yeah. Have you fished here before? No, no it's first, first, first time. First time exploring down the river. Yeah, and uh, uh, I do know a good chum hole. I'll just tell show us, it to please you. Tell us. Yeah. yeah. 
special thanks to the patrons Dustin Hopkin, Henry Cole, and Chris Colley. If you want to go the extra mile and support my channel even more, the Patreon is the best way to do that. It is linked at the top of the description. Thank you very much for watching.